afternoon all. Welcome <laughs> to the new workshop. Ah, so that's what he was doing. Completely transparent roof. <laughs> I thought I'd do this one. I've got a bit of time to myself here. Yeah, it's not very wide. But it's quite long. Yeah, we j went to pick up those drank and picked up all this this morning. All that he's getting the floor in and whatnot. Uh, should have enough there. Yeah, I think there's enough there to do the floor. Well, we've got nine of those and two of those have done at least two thirds. Yep. Got a bit of a gutter. <laughs> yeah. So I've got to stick the electrics in here, which shouldn't be too hard. Because, yeah. Somewhere there, in the side of that wall, is the fuse box, so I can come straight out of that, and in theory, straight into there. Here's the garden, and insulation as well. Go see what these buggers are up to. We have on the kitchen. I better take your boots off, otherwise, Mum will throttle me. Mum's gone to look at some meadow with my sister, so she knows where it is to take uh, Cassie here and Peggy. Peggy's chewing on a bit of wood at the minute. Uh, I do apologise for the background noise, that's the tumble dryer rattling around. Uh, there we go. There's the fuse box. We've got casserole in the oven. Uh, I've got a spare places to put um, circuit breakers, so I'm going to put one in here, probably just, if it's possible, if not, I'll knock out that knockout and then go through the wall, but if it was possible I'd take this cover off and uh, drill just a hole straight through, actually it might be safer just to drill a hole through there to be honest the cable out. Yep, the kitchen's not as big as the old one, I don't mind. Like here. Here's the bathroom. You have to keep yourself amused when everybody's buggered off and left you home alone. That's mum's bedroom. And obviously for their privacy, I'm not going to show you inside there, not without their consent. That's my brother's room. Front door. Make sure dog hasn't done anything anywhere. Railway line is just over there, literally. Apparently all of that is going to be grassed out the front there. Closet here with built in radiator. Got a little radiator in there. No light though. A light would have been useful. And the lounge. Dun, dun, dun. There's the fish tank, and that's a future project. Gonna be turned into, I believe, he's gonna go for a tropical fish tank this time. Instead of marine. I don't blame him to be honest. Marine looks too complicated for me. A little 
the shed came with the place. I think it's an 8 by 8 shed if I remember correctly. 8 foot by 8 foot. Right. Oh, that's going to annoy me. That's not going to straighten up, is it? No. Ugh. I hate wonky pictures. Right. There's the grand tour. No idea how long my mother's going to be. Or my stepdad, for that matter. He's taking the trailer back uh, to the guy he borrowed it from. Sized kitchen. Quality is uh, something to be desired though. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Under here. <laughs> Brand new. <laughs> That's the quality you get. <laughs> There's a gap. Look. Look. Look at the gap. Look. I can get my finger in. It's not even a nice snug fit, it's that crap. Well, what would you get for a cheap council house? Mum got anything I can eat. Should we raid Mum's cupboard for food? I can't eat them. I've got lactose in. Can't make a sandwich because I haven't got no lactose free butter unless I have butter free. <laughs> With you, you haven't actually been on my lap for couples yet. Anything in the fridge I can pinch? No, <laughs> sure answer to that. And a bit. Oh well, I'll talk to you again when I get home then, which will be in what's the time now? Two just gone 2 30. Quite a few hours, <laughs> probably not till about 8 o'clock. So, uh, anyway, talk to you this evening. So here I am. I'm back home. It's almost 10 to 1 in the morning. It's only taken me this long to pick the camera up because I thought it was on charge and charging, but as soon as I went to it, because I couldn't see the um, charging symbol on the screen here, it had disappeared indicating that the camera was charged it wasn't <laughs> um, and I was sort of getting worried that the battery had uh, decided to give up and not take a charge so I am, I am actually going to buy a spare because I have only got the one battery I can only charge them through you know the camera but if I can get I'm hoping this is the right battery actually because it is extremely cheap <laughs> so I will nab that uh, anyway, the floor is going down in the workshop now. I've been meaning to um, take you around the new bungalow for a while. Or well, my mum's new bungalow, I should say. Brand new build, that is, but there's so many little niggles for a new build. I would have, ex being new... I would have expected a bit better quality, you know, such as the bottoms of the cupboards meeting the tops of the kickboards, you know, so they were, so there wasn't a gap big enough for me to put my finger through. <laughs> that to me just takes the complete piss on build quality, you know, that they had, they didn't either put a high enough kickboard to fill that gap in or put the cabinets low enough to meet the kickboards but as I said it's a housing association bungalow so it's built on the bloody cheap anyway you know all the bloody there is no brick walls brick internal walls like this one this one's well this one's breeze block but you know what I mean it's all um, partition walling you know drywall as the Americans call it you have the wooden frame with the um, plaster boards all screwed to it. <clears throat> That's what this one is. 
Uh, I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure about that one either. That actually sounds solid to me. But, uh, yeah, so when I was waiting for the camera to actually charge, I've been uh, creating, well, modifying. These two buildings were originally this width um, because the idea was they're going to be. Um, I got the idea from Model Railways where they have what they call a low profile building that goes up against walls. So it's just basically, you know, like the frontage, um, which is done, you know, basically to fill up space along walls and things. I was going to do it on here when I had the road going down there, you know, just to add some extra buildings and a bit of extra detail over the back. But now my railway line is going to be going down there. And I thought I need some buildings along the front here. Why don't I make these a bit wider so it looks a bit more like a building and then they can sit along the front here somewhere. Like that. So I'm doing the pizza place first. I've got the last floor to do. Then the roof, but I think I'm going to have to order some more roof tiles because I really don't think I've got enough. I'm just going to have a look if I can find it. Is that this one or is that invert? No, that is sloped. One of these days I'll get that box posted. Ooh. I think I've got enough to start, but that's about it. <laughs> I don't think I need that one anymore. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I may actually have to just order a handful more to finish this off. So I actually had to order some to finish that roof off. And I haven't got any I can steal any from. Oh, and that, my um, town clock there, I've got to put one more clock face on. I only put three on, as you can see, there's not one on that side. Because again, it was going to sit at an angle over in that corner. So only three sides would have been visible, so I only put three clock faces on, but that's easy enough to do. I'll just put the brick in the wall there to mount the white disc on. I've got another white disc I can use. I should have. But yeah, I'm not detailing these rooms. They're probably, I don't know, you could call them a studio flat or something. Just little apartments. Very little apartments. <laughs> Uh, but because of the big window down here, I did uh, put some detail in there. And I'm going to do the same there. There's all the counter and the shelf. And for those that don't know, Octan is like the uh, Lego World's fuel station, if you like, and fuel supplier. So this is like an Octan shop to sell oils and things and stuff for your car. So we'll uh, add to that. I'm not going to Mum's tomorrow, so I've got a free day tomorrow. It will be Sunday. So, uh, Sunday, I've got electrical work to do. I've got to change the outside light. Because the one on the wall that the obviously builders put on, not only is a cheap plastic piece of shit, it's about as much use as a chocolate fire guard. It's great for lighting up the door area, right by the door. That is about it. When you've actually got to walk down to the gate or try and see what the dogs are doing at night, it's a little hard. So we're going to stick a floodlight up on the wall. I can do that hopefully Sunday. Uh, stepdad might have to go up a ladder. If not, I will because I'm not sure I'll trust him going up a ladder after he's already fallen off once. But I'm going to take these out. We've actually figured out that both of those mounted above the bench area on the left as you go in the workshop uh, should be enough because like he said he shouldn't need lights on during the day because he's put the um, transparent plastic sheet roof on or the corrug corrugated plastic roof on uh, But to 
today. Basically, I just went over to give him a hand to get all the other, the last lot of materials um, from B and Q's. Uh, the um, tongue and groove flooring and uh, the wood chip to put on the walls and some more two befores because he's got some um, supporting to do on the floor as he puts the boards down and what was it insulation and we got a few electrical bits like the um, sockets he he could have we could have you know taken a few out of the old workshop I'm guessing that I'm hoping that was Nemo um, but he didn't he just chose to get some new ones um, we've got a brand new light switch kicking around anyway and metal box they're all going to be flush mounted so no surface mount um, and of course we're going to put the sockets in before the wood panelling goes up so it'd be just and put the wires in obviously so it's all nice and tidily and properly done. And it's not that far from the fuse box, the main house fuse box, which has three spare places to put a circuit breaker in. So I'm gonna go straight from the fuse box with um some heavy duty um extension cable. It'll do the job just fine out there. He only uses a power tool at a time, so I think a 30 amp breaker would um, be adequate enough out there. So uh, while I'm on eBay, I'm actually going to have a look. And I'm going to remember when I next go out to Mums to take the correct laptop. I took the wrong friggin' laptop today. Two silver laptops I've got. One HP and one Packard Bell. And I took the Packard Bell, which was about as much use as a chocolate fire guard. Uh, but I actually haven't seen mine. I don't know if it's in the bedroom or in here. <laughs> oh, yes. I stuck this, um, this old Amstrad I put on eBay last night. Along with my Sinclair ZX, ZX Spectrum, because, uh, well... I've pretty much just lost interest in these and I've never used them anyway. I've turned them on, pressed a few buttons and turned them off about twice and that is it. Other than that, they've just sat in the bedroom being dust magnets. So, as I've sort of lost interest in that style of computer anyway, I thought I'd sell them on eBay. And uh, I kid you not, I listed them both on eBay, one after the other. Um, then I went, I think I went to do something on Facebook. And then five minutes later I went to check my emails. And I had email notifications that both had sold. Been bought by the same person. They've got to go to another country, but that doesn't bother me. Um, you know, if they're willing to pay and whatnot, it's up to them. Um, but anyway. And he paid. Instantly, just like that. I couldn't believe it. I broke even on both. I probably could have put the Amstrad down here up for 40 that I paid for it, but because when I bought it, there was a load of other bits and a lot of other books and things that came with it, I chose to sort of knock a fiver off, but I think I could have actually... Uh, Got the extra five pounds for it, and actually made five pounds on both. Um, because I sold the Sinclair for twenty-five pounds, and I paid twenty for it. So, <laughs> and I included all the books that I got with it as well. So, and I got to find a box big enough for those. Uh. Might actually take them over to Mum's Sunday so I can weigh them. If I can actually get to Mum's. They're closing the main road and we don't know that area very well. So we don't know of an alternative route. <laughs> um, we're gonna, I'm going to look on Google Maps as well if I remember. I think I'll get as far as I can with my Lego building over there. And then call it a night. 
Uh, I've got someone coming to look at my Saracen bike tomorrow, lunchtime. Put it up for 45, and I don't really want to take any less than 40. Because uh, it's worth it. i just got to take the lights off. Because uh, <laughs> they're expensive lights. If they want the lights, then they can actually, you know, give me 50 bloody quid. But other than that, I'm keeping the lights, so I've got to take those off before I go down, or before they arrive to view it. Don't really need to sell it, like my brother said, but I've already got a front suspension mountain bike with front and rear disc brakes. Why do I need another one? You know, why did I buy the thing in the first place? I think it was just like a, a compulsive buy, you know, a compulsive purchase. But again, well actually I've got to use that to get some groceries with. Uh, and put my electric on. Do you want an example of the sort of conversations I have with mother? And how dopey she can be. Bless her. I'm sitting in the kitchen and I say... I must remember to get the electric tomorrow, because I've got a credit meet. I've got to go, you know, take my... As I've said before, I've got to take the key to the shop, get the credit on it, and then put the key in my meter, and it credits my meter. Um, and my mum says, Why haven't you done it yet? And I said, Because I've been here for the last two days, I haven't had a chance. It's a bit hard to do it when I'm sitting in your kitchen. <laughs> She did come out with some stupid things. What was the other thing she came out with? Oh yeah, my stepdad's laptop I put in the bin. And my silver one that I couldn't use, the Unpackard Bell, was leaning up against the bin. And she says, who took the laptop out of the bin? I said, no one. She said, they have, because it's leaning up against the side of the bin. I said, they haven't, because that's not the same laptop. My stepdad's is not, wasn't silver, it was a pinky purpley colour. Mum says, I do hate a smart ass," and I said, I could say the same for dumb asses. <laughs> we do, we throw banter around like that at each other all the time. We do get some funny looks, though, when we do it, and, you know, when we're in a supermarket or something. Because <laughs> the way we throw banter around, people would actually mistake it as if we hate each other, but we don't. It's just friendly ban banter. Righty-ho, then. I'll call it quits for this video, I think. Because I've got, like, uh, a pony-related video that I want to do. I'm going to redo it again, so I'm going to do that as well. Uh, and I think I've got a Lego update video to do. I don't think I posted it. I'm just going to check. <laughs> If it switches accounts, there we go. YouTube can take a bit of time for me to switch accounts. La -de -da -de -da. Just go to my videos list quickly. No, I haven't done that one yet. I think I got fed up the other day and just deleted the whole lot off the camera. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Or dislike if you dislike the video. As I said before, I'm not fussed. It's it's your decision at the end of the day. Uh, oh, excuse me. So um, I guess on that note, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.